Blaney's rejoining there, they're all three wide, Neil's trying to get involved and Blaney hits them both off! Blaney comes back on the track, hits both cars, hits the right on the back of Bradders into the hairpin on the inside, Bradders out breaks himself and they both patch, 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 just hard to say, Stevie, and Stevie passes them all, straight through, oh, Callum's lost it, Callum's lost it, and what a recovery, he uses the wall, but what a recovery there from Callum, let's have a look at Steve, now Stevie holds his own round the outside, and no way Jose, but then gets a slow run out of the corner. Bids us right off on the outside of him again. This is brilliant. LPB WTCR Championship, round one, race four from Imola. Hi guys, welcome back to Imola at race four now for the WTCR Championship of round one. So this is the fourth race of round one. Let's take you through the grid for this last race of this round. So it is Will who gets pole position in the BMW with TY alongside in the white one. Then it's Pash in third. Bidster is fourth. So Pash surrounded by BMWs because Blakeney's in fifth. Then we've got Stevie in sixth in the Renault. Then we've got Bradders, Bidster's teammate in seventh. George's eighth in the second Megane. And then Neil in the second Mercedes in ninth place at the back of the grid. So let's get on with the race then. So let's see if it's just as dramatic as the last one because the last race was pretty good. Let's see how we go. And we're away. And it looks like George gets a good start at the back of the grid and Will gets away well and everyone else quite away, away quite nicely to be honest. So uh, George looks like he's having a little bit of a battle with his teammate. TY's into Tamborello first. Will and Pasha look at the inside of Bidster but no way through. And everyone else streams through there quite nicely. I think the further back Blake went a bit wide, but he's okay, he gets away with it. Down towards the Villeneuve chicane we go now. So it is TY in the lead, Will, and then Bidster in third now. Bidster in third with Pash behind him, sliding the car through. Let's see if we can get a run on Will here. Into the next corner, Bradders goes wide in the background. George going up the inside of Pash. Looking for a way through in the Renault, trying to get on the inside line. Patch keeps it around the outside, side by side, door handle to door handle. Up the hill towards the left-hander. The left hander goes away from you a bit. It's quite hard to go side by side. We've got Stevie attacking, sorry, George attacking Pash still. Pash slides his way through in the Mercedes, goes very wide, and Stevie's going to come up now because George has to uh, take avoiding action. We've got Will and Bidster side by side as well. Bidster on the outside of Will, and he's on the grass and he's trying to get rejoined. Will goes up back up the inside, and Bidster oh, just keeps it on the track. And a little bit of a tap, door handle to door handle, but fair enough because Bidster ran out of room. And we're on to the straight, and Wills, I think, has he lifted off and let him through? Yes, he has. Bidster's gone through into the second place, and it's Will, George, Stevie. Pash has been muscled back to sixth place, and he's got Blakeney and Bradders and Neil for company as we go down the hill towards the last two corners. TY pulling ahead in the lead, and then it's Bidster in second with Will. Third being attacked by George. George does a nice clean move up the inside of Will into the last two corners and Will then being attacked by both the Renaults. The Renault's quite strong round here. In fact, to be honest with you, the Renault's quite a strong car. But remember, every team and every driver will run that, that, that each car over the season. The three cars will use each one. Stevie now pulling alongside Will because he's lost momentum off the first corner. Blake having to go up Pash as well. We've got uh, Bradders and Neil side by side further back. There's Will and Stevie. Stevie up the inside of Will. Will runs wide. Onto the grass, oh, George runs wide. Stevie might be able to make commends. And up, oh, Bradders goes straight on as well with the battle with uh, with Neil. And uh, Neil goes through. But Will's gone backwards here. He's got Blake for company. And we've got Stevie ahead of George. So Stevie got past him as Will turns in, realises Blake is there and folds in behind. Neil in eighth. And then we've got Bradders back in ninth. In ninth. Back to the battle for fourth position. It's uh, George and Pash. Stevie's got ahead of both of them. So... Stevie pa oh Bidster's slowing down, Bidster must have a slowdown penalty, must have run wide off the chicane. Stevie comes up alongside, he's going on the, on the inside and he's going through, straight through past Bidster and they go, they go down the hill, Stevie up to second then, so three places in the, in the space of half a lap for Stevie, into second place, Bidster still pushing behind him, up the hill. And George gets a very good run there, but that could be a corner cut. He's got to be careful with the corner cuts because he, the penalties are very strict on this. Bidster comes alongside Stevie into the chicane and Stevie holds on to the position. George and Pashka side by side, bit of contact there. I think 
just slightly magnetised as they go into the corner because the game does magnetise people sometimes but everyone's away down the hill so T.Y. in the lead and then we've got Bidster second uh, oh Bidster second now Stevie must have ran wide and had a slowdown as Bidster's gone through oh god god I thought he was going to go on the curve then but yeah it's T.Y. Bidster Stevie George in fourth position and Passion fifth again guys just to remind you if I do miss things it's because I'm doing this all live in one take so the only editing you'll see in this is when I put the replays in at the half distance mark where everything else is all live done for you right now there's no editing involved in it oh there is editing involved but obviously it's all for, for the replays so Bista through the Tamborello chicane he's ahead of Stevie he's trying to build the gap now there's George then Blake oh got a car straight on that's Will Will misses his breaking point and goes straight on Pash then up the trying to defend from uh, is it Neil sorry trying to defend from oh, I can't really think of it what, oh no it was, uh, it was Pash who tucked him behind the Renault, I couldn't see his car but he was uh, trying to fend off uh, Blake there and gets away with it so into the toes of Hairpin and Pash slowing down for a penalty I think there because he went a bit slow into the initial corner but Neil gets a good run out of the corner Neil gets a good run out but again Blake he, so he gets a better run with the rear wheel drive around the outside so uh, yeah, the rear wheel drive you know, can run wide and it can actually get the power down quite nice whereas the front wheel drive has got to straighten itself up and then get the power down for maximum effect meanwhile back up at the front we've got TY, Bidster and Stevie so Bidster's pulling up to TY and he's bringing Stevie with him so all three cars starting to close together for the, for the, for the uh, lead of the race then so TY over the kerbs, Bidster over the kerbs hard as well and out of the corner nicely down the hill we've got George then we've got Old Blake and Pash looking at the inside but no way through, Blake holds on to his own and Neil Farmack closes up to the back of his teammates. So there goes Pash. And then we've got Neil and Will, uh, so Neil behind, Will in eighth and Brad is back in ninth. He's had a bit of a miserable race. He's, uh, I think he's spun round again because he's got major damage at the front of the car. So uh, unlucky there for Bradders. Meanwhile, at the front, we've got T White and Bids to close together. Stevie's gone back a bit, so must have had a slowdown. So the, the leaders together across the line we'll just get the uh, laps in a minute oh we've got uh, Blakeney and Pash close together let's we'll get the lap times 54-5 for TY 53-1 for Bidster fastest lap round Imola so far for Bidster and he's on the move here trying to catch up to TY and we've got Stevie there in third I think I think Bidster were catching up to TY very rapidly yes he is he's right up behind him already TY's already already defending into the next corner and look back here we've got Pash Blakeney and Neil in the same order still so Bidster is right on the back of the other of the other BMW. So Bidster doing well and Stevie oh Stevie's closing in now because they're battling. When the two cars battle together, they slow each other up because they're taking different lines, watching each other, and Stevie's just there waiting to pounce, just getting closer and closer. Meanwhile, Pash looking at the inside of Blakeney, but again, Blakeney defending very well in that BMW, getting the traction out the corners. The Mercedes just can't keep with the beamer on this track back to Bidster and TY for the lead it's TY ahead in the white car Bidster in the blue car in the middle and Stevie in the monster Renault behind and Bidster up over the kerbs and Stevie as well but all very nicely through those couple of corners down towards the chicane meanwhile oh, we've got Pash and uh, Neil very close as well oh Pash has lost it big style gives it a boot full of power as you do in front of the drive boot it turn into the into the slide and Neil goes through he's only lost one position but at least it's to his teammate but wild moment there for Pash just let the rear go round on him and it over rotated and then just had to floor it to get out of it so good recovery there from Pash so TY and Bidster together still down into the last couple of corners through the last cut well last proper corner there's another couple of kinks but really it's a straight so out of the last corner and down the straight TY Bidster and Stevie together and let's get some replays into that first lap first half of the race action now Here's the replays of the first half action. Okay, here's the replays of some of the first half action and we're on board with George, so going up the hill towards the left hander. We're alongside Patch, we break early. Patch goes into the corner of the rear and just steps out of it. We get back on the power. Good recovery there from, from uh, Patch. Now we go down the hill, watching Bitsu and Will ahead. We're alongside Patch, so I think we're about to go through. Will and Bitsu come together and then Bitsu trying to track the car together on the grass. Will backs off because he can't find a gear, the two cars make a bit of contact and they come back on the track but luckily we're all okay, we're going to go back to uh, Stevie's car now, and as you can see, 
bits, you just slice in front of wheel, gets position, so, and then up, up over the curves and then down towards the uh, last corner. Okay, here's a little look at what happens to Will going into the first corner lap. So he's on the dirt, on the dirt there, goes onto the dirt and then just catches the white line. Can't quite stop the car in time. And then we look at Stevie, who takes advantage of George and goes right around the outside of him to make a good clean move there. And Will's already gone back down the seventh position, uh, which will uh, get the on the back down the seventh and he's alongside Blake into the next corner. Has a little bump and just almost doesn't see him, but then luckily does and all is well. Quick one on what happened to Stevie on lap two, so he passes bits there, then look, he, boom, straight over the curve on the inside, and then that is what made Bits to get back in front, because Stevie went on right up onto the wheels, and almost rolled the car. Here's a look at what happened to Will on lap three, into Tamparello, just completely missed his breaking point, and goes straight on into the gravel, thinking it was the old school circuit, just going straight through. Just after we saw Will have a problem, Brad has had an even bigger one, he goes through the Villeneuve chicane, and just goes out the corner, then just catches the gravel and rear end digs in and round he goes into the wall and then he tries to find reverse gear and he's lost time by that point. Okay, here's a few of Pash's slide then on board with Neil, so watch Pash, he's on ahead of us in the Mercedes. He's into the corner too hot, see the rear end overstep and then he catches the grass and round he goes! Buries the throttle and recovers the car very well indeed, but it was just the grass that didn't do, it, do, it, do, it, do it him any favours. Let's now return to the race. So we return from those replays and it is TY still in the lead with Bidster behind, Stevie in third. Let's see if Bidster can close up through this section, through Tamborello, and he goes upon the curbs and he tries to. Yes, he is. He's closing right up on the back of TY now. He's C oh, TY, will he have to defend into the next one? Yes, he is. He's moving to the left. He's defending his line into the corner and Bidster goes to the left to try and do a switch back. And he, oh, TY goes very well. He goes very wide. And oh, oh no, he's, he's lagging. He's just come back on in front of Bidster. He's just lagged there. And Bidster will be like, well, hold on a minute, what's happening? He's using teleporting devices now. It's, uh, what's all this? But uh, Bidster's still not able to get through. T and again, Stevie just lurking there in the background, ready to pounce on any mistakes made. Blakeney is in fifth on his. Oh, he's catch up to George now. He's leaving the two Mercedes behind. Neil in, in sixth and past seventh after that scare last lap. Will still eighth and Brad is in ninth, but back to the battle for the lead of the race. Ty in the lead, bids to second. Up the hill we go towards the Variante Alta chicane. It's a right left. It's a very hard curbs as well, so you get it wrong, and it can really punish you. See the cars go up high on the curbs there. Bids to using a lot of the curbs there, sliding the car out the corner. Not the fastest way around, but quite flamboyant. Down to the last corner, and Blake is there in fifth. Still all the same gap, so we're going to stick with the leaders now. Bids it into the last corner. Oh, he's on the. Oh, he out, I think he outbreaks himself a bit there. Just a little bit of an outbreak, but all good. And around the last corner, gets a good run out the last corner. Gets on the power, trying to catch up to Ty in the draft now. Ty goes to the left like he's going to try and defend the inside of the corner for the next one. Bidster pulls alongside, side by side to the lead as we start lap six. Side by side, bit the Stevie will be rubbing his hands together here, praying that these two take each other off. But into to, into Tamborello we go. Ty takes the inside line and goes a bit wide. Stevie goes wide in in uh, in, in, in excitement because he's thinking, oh, hey, we're going to take each other off, but then he misses his breaking point completely as well. Sliding out of Tamborello down towards the Villeneuve chicane. Down to Villeneuve, into the left, brake into the right, so we've got a transition on the brakes as well. TY this time legitimately runs wide, defends immediately. Bidster has to go around the outside. He's on the outside line here. He's gonna oh he's gonna try and go all the way around the outside. No, nope, can't do that. TY holds him off. No way through there for Bidster. So further back guys, there's no real battles going on further back, I think. We've got well, we've got Blake and George quite close. Uh, but again George holding off the BMW behind him. But back to the leaders. Ty and Bits are having a good old dogfight here. They usually have a good dogfight on uh, on Gran Turismo Sport. Never mind Project Cars. But it's good to see Ty up there competitive with Project Cars now because he's on a wheel. But he's oh, just um, being good at saying positive things about him. He runs wide and hands Bits to the opportunity he needs to take the lead of the race. Little cheeky flash the lights there. Stevie having a little look. Just to try and see if there's anything possible, but no way through for Stevie. Ah, oh, Bidster on two wheels, massive two wheels there for Bidster. 
and gets away down the hill. So Bidster then with a little bit of a gap. Now it's Stevie's turn to try and attack TY as we come down to the last two uh, left-handers. Breaking. See the back end of the Renault just trying to squirm its way through the corner. Bidster runs a bit wide up ahead. Bidster runs wide through the last through that. At last corner, T.Y. goes a bit wide on the exit, but no harm done. Go back to Stevie, down over the start finish line. That's how close they all are on the on the roof cam of Stevie's car, going down towards Tamborello. Stevie, uh, sorry, T.Y. closing up to Bidster in the draft. Bidster defends the inside. This could be a changing moment. Bidster defends the inside hard. No room for T.Y. He's going to be on the on the uh, oh. On the edge of grip, I was going to say, but TY's lost all grip. He spun round, catches the grass, and has a little tank slapper. Gets the car spun round, but that's TY's uh, hope of a uh, race win. Straight out the window, and now it's Stevie's turn to pile on the pressure. So Stevie just lurking back there. It's worked. It's uh, oh, s catches the grass, and what a hold from Stevie. But Bidster runs wide as well because you were wondering where the hell are you going, Stevie. You were probably watching his mirror that much. You were thinking, oh my lord. What are you doing? His eyes must have gone the size of golf balls. And goes, uh, but he still maintains the lead. And Stevie there, still with the lights on. And probably just trying to get his heart back into his chest. But uh, very, very scary moment there. But luckily, front wheel drive, a lot easier to recover. If that had been Bidster or TY, that would have been a whole different ball game. Trying to get that car righted in the, in the same way. So TY is in third, but he's now got George for company in fourth. George can smell a podium. So let's see with what he can do about him here as they go into the Vanante uh, Ula at the bottom of the hill. And down towards the Vanante Alta chicane. Vanante means uh, chicane, I think, in uh, Italian. Don't quote me on that, but uh, I think he does. Uh, oh, T.Y. again on the power, very hot on the power, and gets the car squirming. That's all the opportunity that George needs to get alongside him. He might even be past him before they get to the corner. Down to the bottom of the hill, there's still, T.Y. still trying to stick it out, but can't quite do it. George goes to the inside, superior braking, and gets the move done. Fantastic move there from George as we go down the hill. He was aided by T.Y., but he had to still be committed, and T.Y.'s lost it again. T.Y.'s gone round again. This time, his teammate's going behind him. He's in the middle of the track. He's going to, luckily he goes forwards in towards where that marshal area is and now he waits for a gap and he reverses uh, what, 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 T.Y. what are you doing? He's just he's just in the middle of the track no no, no that, that, that's the access road there oh right I know what he's trying to do he's trying to pull the car off and then get the car spun round with the rear drive and then gets on with it but he's now down in 8th place that's gone from bad to worse for T.Y. and it's going from bad to worse for Bidster because he's got Stevie right behind him on this last lap of the race Stevie trying everything he can into the toes of hairpin Bidster defends hard got to get the car turned in Stevie will get the, get the power on on the inside he'll try and go through if he can up the hill we go Side by side, Stevie's oh, almost side by side, but the BMW just gets the legs on the on the McGann up the hill and into the left-hander. Bidster still in the lead of the race, but Stevie's not going to give in the towel here. Stevie never gives in the towel. There's no such thing as a white flag to Stevie. He's just like absolutely just go for it or or broke. So oh, just breaking hard all in, within millimeters of the back of that BMW. Down to the chicane. This is how this is how. Uh, close Stevie is we go on board that's how close he is to the back of Bidster over the chicanes we go nice lines there from both drivers down the hill towards the last two corners brilliant race this has been one of the best races in LPB racing on project cars we've had for ages brilliant stuff down to the last few corners Stevie's last few chances he breaks very late so does Bidster he almost overcooks it but both drivers get the car stopped and it's going to be a dead heat towards the finish line Bidster using all the track he can out of the last corner and Stevie in the draft he is closing up but I don't think it's going to be enough by the time they get to the line I think it's going to be Bidster who wins the race it is up to the start finish line Bidster flashes lights he wins the race from Stevie a fantastic battle there Stevie gets a well deserved second place as well very good race from him George's teammate gets a well deserved third kept himself out of trouble and picks up third place well done to George uh, just watch him cross the line there, it's a bit later on, there's the line, Blakeney crosses the line in fourth, good fourth position for Blakeney, nice and consistent, now it's the two Mercedes of Neil Farmack and Pash, we will have team names next time out, so Neil and Pash there in fifth and sixth, Will is going to be in seventh, so he picks up seventh place after TY's demise, 
So just, just getting used to the car still, so hopefully it'll be a bit better out next time. But Will takes a well-deserved seventh. TY, uh, well, he'll be very disappointed with his performance there. A lackluster eighth position for TY. And Bradders is going to round off the nine. But bear in mind, guys, he's done very well because he's getting used to the manual. He's getting used to a different kind of car. And he's improving uh, week after week. So uh, good to see Bradders in. And we'll wish him best of luck for the rest of the season. So just before we go to the results, we'll just get some replays on that last half of the race action. Here's a look on board with Stevie on lap six. Look at Vincent's move to the lead. So into the corner, you see slides into the corner. T.Y. goes wide onto the grass. And it's all that Vincent needs to be invited to go straight to the lead. And T.Y. now has to try and hold off Stevie. Okay, here's a replay of what happened to T.Y. then. It's really clear stay on board with Stevie with a scene next, but into the corner, watch T.Y.'s car. Just clips the rear wheel with the kerb, and that's all it takes just to put the car off. He spins round, so very unlucky there for T.Y. Very strange as well. Okay, let's have a look now what happened to T.Y. on lap 7, because this was very, very strange. So he goes out of the last corner, gets the power and while he's on the kerb, big tank slapper, and the rear end goes right round. Now he's in the middle of the track, he's keeping still so the other cars can see him. And uh, Neil goes through now, T.Y. goes towards the barrier to get out of the way. And then he's got a clear track now, so he can reverse. And he just reverses back onto the track, which is a bit silly. And then he gets the first gear and then ends up going onto the little road. Then Will goes through, and now he decides to spin the car around and then gets going. So a bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but he does it anyway. And we come back from those replays, and now let's go to the results and the points. Okay, guys, here's the results then of race four. So it's Bidster who takes the win. Well done to Bidster. It's Stevie in second place. Then it's George in third. Blakeney finishes in fourth. And with Neil Farmack in fifth, ahead of his teammate Pash in sixth. Then it's Will in seventh. And then TY in eighth. Bad race there for TY and Bradders. Rounds off the nine. And now, guys, we go to the overall championship standings. It's Bids doing the lead on 77. Then it's Stevie second on set on 70. Then it's 59 for George. Ty on 49. Then we've got Neil Farmack on 47. Sixth place for Blake on 42. It's 38 for Pash. 34 for Will. Then it's Bradders ninth on 28. And then we've got the rest of them yet to score. And then Dive Squad is the leading team on 129 with Brave and Bold on 105, Friendly Fire on 91, and then it's Smoking Tires on 85 with Phoenix Racing Cars rounding off the teams with 34. And we come back from all that. Bidster there is your winner. There he is in the BMW with Stevie behind him there. So the BMW is the winner of the race. Well done to Bidster. He leads the championship uh, now going from Imola. And next time, guys, in round two, we are going to be at Algarve in Portugal. And we are going to be at Dubai Autodrome in, obviously, Dubai. So we're going to be there next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching another race by LPB Racing. Don't forget to do the usual like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit your notification bell as next time we will be at Algarve for round two and it will be race one.